Alright guys, this is the Barton Swing Aqueduct. You can see the old swing bridge down there and if you look, we have caught it just in time as it's going, conveniently enough. Now if you're wondering uh, while we're filming this, um, well, uh, as you've obviously seen, we're heading down to St. Catherine Cemetery. But uh, what the old ship canal has to do with that, you'll see a little bit later on. I've literally just had to leg it up here because I heard they were turning the bridge, man. So I'm so glad we've caught it for you. I don't know whether they're turning the road part of it over there as well, but as you can see, this uh, little canal here is the uh, Bridgewater Canal. And up at the other end is where we... Uh, found Ian Brown's music video spot for the Tag It video I don't know if any of you guys watched that but yeah you follow this canal up and you'll you'll get to that but I'm glad we uh, we got to catch it in full swing I'm gonna hang about a minute because uh, when it comes back round I've got a nice little shot to transition oh look up there Gary yeah there is someone in that top part see him yeah, we thought it were derelict, guys, because it looks, uh, looks like it's seen better days, that top part, but there's actually a dude up there in the window. Cool. It's a rather grand old sight, that, isn't it, mate? You can see just up on top of it there, guys. The pigeons going for a little ride. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, two and three quarters. <laughs> One. And zero. Perfect. made it down to the old cemetery now back in the day this cemetery once housed an old church called St Catherine's and uh, I believe that was demolished back in the in the late 70s due to uh, dry rot dry what? dry what? dry rot so we figured we'd come down to the old cemetery that remains and take you for a little mooch because there's uh, not, a lot of, le, le, not a lot of people who know about this old place 
and there are some very cool sights to see. Taking over the graves. The old cross up there. Now parts of this are still, well pretty much all of it's still tended to but someone requested we bob down and uh, said it was a nice place to make a little video so we decided to do so. William Beresford. Pretty grand these old graves as well aren't they? If you look here though guys, we've just been trying to figure out Is it a tree? Yeah So yeah An old tree Growing At the foot of this grave But yeah, you're probably wondering why we uh, filmed the canal and in a minute or two, you'll find out. I think pretty much these ones over this side are going to be some of the older graves. If you look there, that one. Yeah, look at that. Top half of it's uh, snapped off at some point what is left on there is Alice uh, daughter who departed this life March the 21st 1875 age nine months wow there's another one there August the 28th this is Tom 76 I think Wow, age 4 months Wow Yeah That was a bit of a grim start wasn't it Yeah they're nice and Nice and peaceful these videos Even with the sad stories that these old stones can tell, there is a certain tranquility mooching about an old place like this. birds singing away the remains of George Deakin of Sale Priory Cheshire 48 or 42 years I can't really make it out but just look at the ivy there on them how cool does that look and then you've got this <sighs> hundreds of year old tree still going strong 
and look at the Mother Nature's archway there as you as you come into the old place. You can see where this one's fell. Probably due to the uh, well, conveniently enough, I don't know if you remember the old cemetery we did in Blakely. It probably fell during that storm. Now, if you look here, we've got an extremely grand old grave or tomb, even in memory of Thomas Goldsworthy of Davy Hume, died March the 5th. 1855, age 54. Then, if you look down here, there's a not so uh, good condition grave. What I can, oh, there we go. Agnes, uh, I can make out Adam and Mary Ann Bell of Patrick Croft, aged 81 years on that one. So, yeah. I think this is the older side of the cemetery, what do you reckon? Oh, yeah. oh but that's what I mean, this this side now and then over there you've got the newer ones, haven't you? Oh, pretty yeah. much. Look, look at this here though. I mean we've got some. Yeah, I've just filmed that. It's stunning, eh? I love the ivy like that. I know. If you look here guys, you can actually literally see into this one. I mean there's nothing to see but I can see this being a creepy place for your little Halloween Halloween mooches or whatever, you know what I mean? For those who are interested in the paranormal. But these big prominent graves are nice to look at, but it's the little forgotten ones that I like to uh, I like to have a peek at. The ones on the back side of the cemetery that's you know hardly any probably had hardly any money back in the day you know I mean what would you call it a pauper's grave but I mean pauper's graves never even got names put on did they or anything yeah straight buried but if you look there guys look at that one in there Alice Mardalisa I believe why do we always pick the ones with the dodgy names, man? <laughs> oh, wow! Now, if you look here, guys, you saw that um, photograph at the beginning. These must be what remains of the foundations of the church. How cool is that? Oh, wow, so... I wonder if that was once inside it. That's definitely where it once stood, isn't it? Oh, there you go. Look, you can see more. Yeah, so we are literally now, guys, stood on the old site of where the church once stood. Oh, wow, look at those ones over there, Gary. Look at that, guys. We'll, we'll push over there in a minute. But just look at them. Now they definitely don't get tended to anymore. Zoomed in a bit too far there. 
Yeah, this is it, mate. These are the old grounds, most definitely. You can literally see here, guys, the mound where it comes round and perhaps where the back end of it would have been all the way around there and then you can literally see the layout of the church can't you but I'm just wondering I don't know if any of you Eccles folk remember this old gaff but was that once inside the church I'd say it was because it looks like one of the only water things doesn't it or you know the christening baths or whatever you call them I don't know what you call them but I don't know I don't know but yeah, we'll push back through here anyway and have a mooch over that side for those who want to see it. You can see the other remains of the foundations there. And then, oh, this is the thing I think I've seen online, Gary. This once stood in the church, I believe. Let's take you around front here. Oh, you can't make it out anymore. No way. I believe, though, guys, this is an old war memorial and it once stood inside the church. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm sure that's it, though. Um, but, yeah, it looks like somebody's been getting dug here. That's, uh, God knows, could be a fox or something like that. You never know. Yeah, you can make out, you can't make out the names, you can see vaguely, but I'm sure there's someone out there who will drop a comment in the video. That's definitely war related, I'm sure of it. Yeah, uh, let us know, guys. And then, oh, that's definitely one, yeah. Let's have a look. Known to be buried in this churchyard. K forward slash seven nine two five one private g e hume royal canadian army medical corps the 4th of december 1943 age 27 into thy hands O oh lord wow so royal canadian army medical corps We'll take you down here and have a proper mooch because there's a lot of people who perhaps haven't seen this through old age or whatever, you know, for a long time. Obviously we, uh, how are you? You can literally see underneath that one almost. We can't film and read every grave, but... Uh, We'll find the the ones that stick out. Look at that there. Affectionate remembrance of Albert Rowe. From his employee from his employers and fellow workers. Albert Rowe. He sounds like he was a bit of a chap back in the day. Um I don't want to walk over the graves, you know. I'm stepping between them guys so don't worry about that way we're, we're not like obnoxious not rights <laughs> but I can see one just at the back down here that I want you to see obviously this part of the cemetery is still pretty well tended you know but uh, there's one that's fell over there. Look at that. Just adding away. I reckon there's a few more. There we go. Look at those ones there. That's one. January the 14th, 1928. Thomas Milner. I was hoping to get onto this land here guys because there was a shot coming across here I'll put it up now to the old church uh, 
you can see the clock face but we can't really get out there now this one is yeah oh look at that one there wow that really stands out that one look at that in loving memory of william the devoted son of john and mary moody who fell asleep may the 1st 1927 that really stands out that one doesn't it a couple more there look at that was it captain yeah captain john and lloyd there uh, late this is late of radnashaw Radnashir, who died at Eccles, right? Never heard of Radnashir. But, uh, yeah, look at that, 1869 on that one. We'll take you around this back end now, anyway, and show you a little something we found last time we were here, which we're unsure of quite what it is. And, uh, show you the connection to the ship canal that we found as you can see I'm in shorts and I am now buried in the stings off the old stingy nettles 1869 wow is there another one oh are ah, yeah look at that one the detail on that Yeah, you got a tomb type affair there. Look at these. You can see how the years of moisture have allowed this uh, kind of a skin to grow on it, if you will. That is back there, man. See it? That big piece of uh, stone or something. Now written on it, Ralph. Well, oh, there is something written on that, I think. No, there's not. I've no idea what that is. Very peaceful, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Pendleton. But we're pretty much in the top corner of the cemetery now, guys. And let's just have a little peek up here, because I'm sure they go on. Yeah, there's, a, there's one there hiding away. Hey, oh! There's one of them hiding away as well, unfortunately, guys. Hope you're not having a vindaloo tonight. Oh, wow, look at that, Gary. My lord, mate, you can see literally right into this grave here. I don't know if you can make that out, guys, but quite literally you can see right down to the earth there. Into the earth. Um, it's a lot deeper than it looks on the film. <sighs> but it's a nice spot to let your dog have a turd. Well... That's if it is a dog turd, eh, Gary? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're joking me. Look at that. Not just one, two goes in. My lord. But if you look over there, guys, I knew there'd be some more. You can see the top. With another one that's been long forgotten. Look at that one there. What's that say? Eleven June, eighteen ninety-four. Loving, generous, tender, and true. If you look there, though, you can see right through to that grave we've just been looking at. And 
There we go, look at that one, 1913. But wow, to have a grave like that, back then, you must have had a fair bit of dosh. I think there is another grave under there, believe it or not. That's Yeah, there is, look at that, wow. Yeah, there's a grave in there. Unreal. If you can make it out in there, guys. Oh, you can't really make it out, but yeah, I know. This is the yeah, you can see the top of it, can't you? That one snapped off at some point. I think that went even higher at one point. But it looks as though it snapped off. But literally, you can see the part of the cemetery that is no longer tended to. If you look here, guys, we're there. Well, I can only describe it as a little dome that the trees have made for us, but wow, if you look, you can actually see there's a grave hidden inside here. Let's have a look at the uh, inscription on that one. It says, in loving memory of William Taylor, another William who died January the 22nd, 1917, age 79. There's another one there, but you can barely see the inscription on it, but just look at this tree. Literally, guys, this is a, a massive tree, but if you look there, it's grown right up to the grave, but the grave is not budging for anything. Is there? Yeah. Let's have a look. Is it what? I don't know. Let me see. Oh no, that's just a look. Well, it looks like an urn, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it does look like an urn. Perhaps it is. Perhaps you, know, you never know. There, someone might have scattered someone's ashes on it. But this is a cool little spot. This is the type of spot I'd have had a den as a kid. You know, I'd have probably. Put a couple of boards up there in that tree, mate. Tree out. Yeah, chilled out up there all day long. If we just come through here, though, you can just see there's a sea of stinging nettles there, guys. And pretty much there's no more graves over there. But if we look through here without getting stung in my shorts, there's some. There we go, look. It out, but saturated now. Wish I'd have put my boots on, but yeah, we're at pretty much at the top end of the cemetery. We'll show you down that part in a minute, guys. But that's the bit that's all tended to, and we like looking at the old stuff that's been long forgotten. But this place does look very well tended to, you know. Considering it is, uh, there's no longer a church here. I believe it's part of a, another church in the area now, or just down the road, perhaps. Let's have a look at this one here. In loving memory of Harold Taylor, dearly loved husband, father, died the 1st of June, 1963, aged 62. Also Beatrice, his beloved wife. He is pretty much, pretty much on his own out here, that one, isn't it? You know, there's some, the remnants of something there, but I don't know what. And yeah, he's literally on his bill. That old, isn't he? There is now in there, is there? And if we, uh, Set you around here, guys. This is possibly part of the cemetery that nobody really ever sees, although the ground is uh, looks like it's often warts on, so perhaps people want a dog through there or something, you know. Got an old door there, and I tell you now, that door looks very old indeed. That is an old door, man. So God knows where that's from. 
but last time we were here we found a little something in these woods at the back nothing amazing but perhaps somebody who uh, knows the area can shed some light on it and uh, I'll also show you just while we're here something quite spectacular look at that guys how grand is that for a window absolutely stunning and if we uh, just zoom you in at the top there, you can literally make out the old bell going to digital zoom. I don't know if you can just about see the rim of it there, guys, but as we come down, just look at that window. Wow. I forget the name of this one, I believe it's Roman Catholic though. Do you remember the name of it? All Saints. All Saints, is it? But uh, that's not what we've come to show you. There's a, there's a little piece of concrete back here. And I'm wondering if it was once part of St. Catherine's. Now if you look in there guys, we thought it was a bit of someone's tent or something. And what looks like an old settee with a load of moss on it but if you uh, venture in it's actually a great big piece of carved stone it's just been left there so God knows what it was if anyone does know the area or does frequent this cemetery or the church at the back or they even came to St Catherine's back in the day let us know if you know what that is but yeah that's pretty much uh, it grave wires out here there's a adult nappy hanging from the tree there that's uh, oh it is uh, Gary where have you brought me to here this isn't your spot is it brother oh my lord Another one. Oh wow, yeah. This is. Uh, oh, you know what we've hit, don't you? We need to go. This is a dogging spot. It's a dogging spot. We need to get out of it. Oh man, it is, isn't it? That explains why the police are at the gates. That's where you sit, in it, Gary? You dirty. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that. What's written on this one? Our little garden. Let's have a look at that. I can't really make it out. Our little garden. Oh, I wish I could make it out. Consecrated, possibly. Ground. A little garden on consecrated ground, possibly. Where you may rest a while. And give a thought to God. And to those who walk in his garden. Well, it's safe to say that whoever's done that back there isn't doing what's instructed on there. Wow. Hit <laughs> it. And if you look here, guys, as we uh, come out of the woods, this is what I wanted to show you. The reason why we filmed the ship canal and the old swim bridge at the beginning is because this dude who's buried here had an hand in its construction and also in the construction of the development of Trafford Park for Mr Marshall Stevens 
Now that is what you call a monument, eh? Now, just to show you guys, you can actually see the old Trafford Park Hotel there. What we did there, uh, probably last year or something. But if you just look in front of me, you can see that the dude has got a little memorial. Cool. And if you look there, guys, he's even got a street named after him. Let's have a look. The son of Sanders and Emma Stevens. 18th of April, 1852, to the 12th of August, 1936. Whose life's work lies around this spot. A founder of the Ship Canal, manager of Manchester Ship Canal Company, developed Trafford Park, member of Parliament for Eccles between 1812 and 1922. So, you can pretty much see now, guys, why we uh, filmed the canal at the, the beginning. And you probably saw a few pictures bunged in there too. Gary, stand in front of this a minute. Let me just show them the size of it. If you just look here, guys, Gary's going to do a little uh, catwalk good. model spot Very for us. <laughs> Come on, you can at least wiggle your ass cheeks or something, pardon my French. No, but... You don't want nightmares. <laughs> As you can see, that is the size of the whole thing. What would you call it, that? A, a monument? A memorial. Yeah, it's more than a memorial, though, if he's actually buried there. What's it called? Not a tomb. Um, I'm sure it begins with M. Let me know, guys, if you're watching the video. There's a name for it. I can't think what it is, but... Yeah. So, uh, pretty much, guys, that's it for the old St. Catherine Cemetery. Like I said, we can't show you every grave, and you know, we'd be here all day, but I'm just hoping. Well, look at that, you can see the, the spire of the other church there, peeping out of it top of the tree line but yeah I'm just hoping that it was a bit entertaining for you or perhaps brought back some memories or we just did you a favour because you can't get out here no more you know I'm gonna uh, bid farewell to Mr Stevens and hopefully, we'll see you in the next video. If you just look over there, hiding away in the trees, there's a little angel. So I think we'll end the video on that. And hopefully, we'll see you in the next one. This was St. Catherine's Cemetery. Nice one for watching. Take it easy, guys. Peace. Oh wow, yeah, it is, look at that. Arconia. The Arconia. How good is that timing? It's like one of those um, thingy ones, isn't it? What they put the um, 
you know, the big freight containers on or something like that. Do you reckon it's going on up to the keys? Yeah. That guy's the Arconia. Kill man. Here you go, Gary, wave to the driver. Yeah. <laughs> 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 he's lucky he's not even he's, <laughs> he's just looking he's just looking at you as if to say are you all right pal <laughs> <It's waved. laughs> oh cracking cracking <laughs> Oh, minted. You see his tiny little fod popping out. <laughs> oh, he's hiding now. He's hiding. The camera's shy, but you can imagine his little fod up there at the window, guys. He'll probably watch this video anyway, won't he? You never know, man. <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> you never know man, you never know. <laughs>